everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jessie today I'm doing a makeup book tag it's been since 2022 so two years since I've done this tag and I'm excited so grab yourself a beverage and let's dive in also if you see me looking over here it's because I have a mirror all right so I moved around these questions because I don't do them in the order that it says to. Nothing wrong with that. I just don't. So I also have not preemptively chosen books for this. This is literally just a do it and go. First, I'm sitting at my desk. So I have Aquaphor as always. I've also done my skincare already. So I do eyebrows first. So we're gonna do that. And I also have my computer over here with the questions. So that's where I'm gonna be looking. <laughs> okay, a book you think everyone should read. Ooh, this one's a, a hard one. I would say a book I think everyone should read would definitely be what? Ooh, Percy Jackson series because and I'm going to specify I grew up with that book coming out and reading it and continuing Rick Riordan's journey as he's gone through multiple series at this point. He now has Rick Riordan uh, Presents, which brings other cultures and shines a light on other authors. So I think he's doing really wonderful work. But I think the Percy Jackson series, because it's a book that I think everyone can relate to, especially young people, because growing up, I felt like an outsider a lot of the time because um, my skin color, I was kind of a nerd, kind of a jock. I didn't really have like, until later on within school career, I guess later on in high school, I didn't really have like a core group of friends because I liked doing a bunch of different things. I loved reading, I loved playing sports, and most of the time school likes to categorize you into one of those categories and I was kind of all of them. I also was held back a grade so I was also older than a lot of people. We moved quite a bit um, so I never had like friends that I stayed close with until later on within uh, being a teenager so that was a bunch of factors <laughs> that led to things. So a book I think everyone should read, the Percy Jackson series. I was also diagnosed with dyslexia in college because I knew something was wrong. I, I'm not a math whiz by any means, but I would, I still have trouble reading long numbers and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Rick Riordan actually wrote this series originally or one of the reasons or inspirations was his daughter who also had dyslexia so i think and adhd i took medication for it when i was very very young um, my parents didn't keep me on it for a long time but i had a lot of similarities with these kids and they were around my age when this book came out and i felt seen I felt not alone and after reading the first book I became obsessed with mythology. It's still one of my passions. I love learning about different religions and things like that. I'm a very open-minded person when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, I just really enjoy it and I wouldn't have that open-mindedness I think if it wasn't for Percy Jackson. Question number two is eyeshadow. And I don't do a lot these days, maybe one or two colors and that's it. But I'm also filming today, so I thought I would film while I got ready. Um, okay, so eyeshadow. Pick a book that has your favorite colors on the cover. You know, this is a little difficult because I, it's a little difficult because I really like 
muted colors. I like black and white aesthetic a lot of the times. Kind of a little difficult to get into uh, to choose one book, but I do also like dark and moody colors. So I would say, I'm also just gonna insert photos. I'm not gonna go to my shelves and pick out books. Um, but I would say Valiant series by Leslie Livingston. I love those. They have a little muted colors. They have some darker, moody, vibrant colors a little bit. So I really like that. It's also when um, based on Julius Caesar times and women gladiators. And I love it. It's fantastic. Eyeliner. Pick a dark and mysterious book. I would have to say I would say like a very old old series that it does have people they do have people on the covers but like um Cassandra Clare books like you see this person they have tattoos um but you don't really know what's going on from the cover okay so next we have primer I don't use primer but I'll answer it sometimes I do I use the milk hydro grip primer but i don't need it today <laughs> a book that left a lasting impression i mean i could say required it again oh okay uh snitch by allison van diepen that was the first book that i read that actually really got me into reading i think i read it a little young the way that she portrayed the characters within this story the plot twist at the end it was very interesting it was very captivating i wanted to know what happened next it's more of a like a teen life story follow this girl who lives in a neighborhood where gangs are very present and she has friends within gangs, uh, different gangs as well, but she's not part of the life. And they, her friends try and keep her out of, of that as much as possible. And the people they go to school with also know that she's not part of that. It's just people that she has met and lives in the community with. This new guy shows up. He's not really into the gang like either. And then he meets her friends and he kind of gets pulled in and it really takes off from there. It was obviously the new guy is our love interest, but it was so good. I loved it. I can still remember everything that happened in that book. And I read that over 15 years ago. <laughs> it was really, really good. Again, I read it extremely young, but super super good okay foundation i also don't wear often and that is pick your favorite first book in a series crescent city hands down i loved it i loved the characters i loved where things were going i loved the plot line it was so flipping good i think crescent city mm, throne of glass was pretty good but i think crescent city as a first book tops even throne of glass because it's just so intriguing you could leave it as a standalone if you took a little bit away from the end um and left it at that but she kept going which is fine i i like the series there's nothing wrong with it i thoroughly enjoy reading sarah J. mass she's one of my favorite authors but i think that first book was just chef's kiss i loved it Okay, concealer I do use and I have a few that I very much like. I have three that I love. I love the Q Beauty. Um, this is the Miracle Cover Concealer in shade Spiced Rum N8. I also really love the Clean and Fresh Cover Girl Hydrating Concealer. This one's my absolute favorite, 400 Rich. And then I also like the Rimmel London The Multitasker Concealer 
and I am shade 100 Mocha. But these are all drugstore and out of every foundation that I have tried other than the Rare Beauty one, I really want to try that. I like these better than the really expensive ones. They cover nicely. I have no issues with them. I just super enjoy using these. Um, but yeah, so concealer. Pick a character you wish you could get rid of. Oh, this one's hard because I understand for authors, we, I need a new one of this, I'm almost out, that even villains and terrible characters, for the most part, have a purpose within a novel. I do understand that. So I don't know if, I mean, if I could, I would get rid of Elaine from Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. We won't get into it, but I am not a fan of her. I quite frankly think that she was a wasteless character and um, I understand why she's a part of the, the book again. Don't get me wrong. I understand. I just... I don't like her. I don't like her character. Everyone sees her as this weak little rabbit that is so sweet and so innocent. And Nesta's this bad character who everybody needs to hate because of reasons. I won't get into or spoil anything. But I just... They're both to blame. And I think... Someone showing emotion is better than not showing emotion at all. And I think that, yeah, Nesta has some shit needs, she needs to work through, but I would rather someone yell and scream and do things that she did in Silver Flame than be quiet and ignore everybody and like see through them. I would rather Nesta's reaction to her feelings than not knowing what anybody is feeling and like not knowing what they need. I would rather tell, I would rather someone tell me to F off than not tell me anything at all because at least I can gauge your emotion that way than emotionless. I think emotionless is worse and I don't, I, I'm gonna stop my rant. If I could, I would get rid of her, but I know that we needed or Sarah J Mass intended us to see Thera and her willingness to take care well having to take care of everybody and that I do understand where she comes in in the pretty girl and the Nesta and the mean I don't give a crap about anybody I get the premise of having three sisters I do I just wish she could cut her out and just leave Nesta as she was Okay, powder, which I do use. I use a few. Um, but the one I love the most is actually from e.l.f. And it's the brush, uh, blush, sorry, um, in Fiji. I don't know what this actually is, but it's a duo, blush and powder. I also like the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, super cheap. It's nice to bring places. I also have the Laura Mercier um translucent powder in medium deep i love this one as well i just have the travel size in here i actually have the lure mercier actual translucent powder but i love this one because it has like a nice deep color covers my under eye bags so pick your favorite last book in a series Ooh, okay um oh that one's hard um Ooh, I'm gonna have to give that one thought. I don't know. Yeah, that stumps me. I don't, hmm. Ooh, favorite last book. Oh, I really loved, um, what is it? Wings and Shadow. 
from the the crown of feathers trilogy that one was so good i think it wrapped up everything nicely beautifully i loved the the twist and turns we got some of it was predictable don't get me wrong it's not the best writing i've ever read but there's something about it that was so gripping so enticing i didn't want to put it down it was just really good i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed that one that that one's probably one of the best tri written trilogies I've read in an extremely long time because it was so good. I loved the, again, some of it was predictable. The story was overall just so enjoyable. I loved it. I was laughing. I was not shedding tears but I teared up a little bit it was I felt everything in the emotional rainbow that you could feel while reading that that trilogy and it was so so good okay mascara is what I do next again I have a few that I like but I really want to try the Vive one that is oh, that's the one I want to try the absolute most there it is I have Maybelline, both of these are Maybelline, The Last Sensational, this is the waterproof one, and I think it's just in black, is this the black or the brown one? I have it in black and I have it in brown, this one's black. This one is also waterproof and it's the Sky High. I like this one because of the wand. I use this one for my upper lashes, it's just like a curved wand. And then if I'm going to wear bottom lashes or I just need something quick on my eyelashes, I like this one. This one's in brown and I really like this one. Probably going to use this one today because I'm just filming. I don't need anything super crazy. Since they're waterproof, they are a little difficult to get off. But I really want to try the Vive Mascara. Oh, I want to try it so bad. Okay. With one eye done, prompt for mascara is to pick a long book. <sighs> Anything by Brent Weeks, quite frankly. I'm reading, rereading the Lightbringer series right now, and I'm on book three. I listen to them on audio. I thoroughly enjoy them. They're an adult high fantasy series where we bring prisms, like light prisms, into play. That's kind of what the magic system's based off of. So you have the prism, who kind of is like the ruler, I guess you could say. The prism can control all the colors of the rainbow. That's why they're called the prism. There was a war a few years prior, I would say, quite a few years prior to the start, where there were twin brothers who were both prisms and one defeated the other. So now he is, well, ruler. And slowly he starts to lose his colors. He starts to lose his vision. And when you can't see color to draw from, it doesn't just come out of you, then you can't manifest or use your powers. Our prism slowly starts to lose his vision and control of the colors. We also follow a sun. We follow these characters with like snippets of others here and there. Slow, methodical, the plot twists, they just reel you in. Okay, so blush. I use two, again, I use the e.l.f. powder, and I also use the milk blush in work. It's a lip and cheek, but it's in work. And blush is pick a book that made some cringe-worthy, oh, that had some cringe-worthy romance. Oh. <laughs> there are quite a few. Definitely Cassandra Clare. I don't think she writes romance very well. Sue me. I think premises of her books are good but I don't think that she writes romance well yeah I no <laughs> I don't think she writes romance well <laughs> sometimes it's very very cringy I'm not gonna lie I think she wrote Alec and Magnus the best I think over time she's gotten better at it but Clary and Jace just that uh ma'am if you know you know now I'm just going in with the powder across the nose. All right, now we go into highlighter. I have two. I actually really love this um, 
duo contour stick in dark from Rimmel London. So it has contour on one end, highlight on the other. I also really like this one from Annabelle Cosmetics. It's made in Montreal, Canada. It's the light champagne, which I also really like. And then I have this one. I don't even know who this is by. Anastasia. I think that's how you pronounce it. So it has like a eyebrow. I think it's an eyebrow duo. I've had this for years. I love it. Um, so there's like a matte on one side and kind of like a highlight on the other. I love this for my inner corner. That's really all I use it for, which I really love. And then I use this tiny little brush, blend out the edges. I didn't know that my camera was stopped. And so I, we were on highlighter and I was talking about my two different ones that I use. Well, you saw me apply one of them, but I have these two from Rimmel and then I have one from Annabelle Cosmetics which is the one I used and it was pick a book that brightened your day and I said consider me and it does literally brighten my day because my husband and I are actually reading it well I convinced him to read it so I downloaded the audiobook used a credit on audible and he's a podcast guy he listens to podcasts all the time while he's doing dishes while he's driving that kind of thing and so I convinced him to read Consider Me. So he's listening to it on his way home from work these days and I'm reading the physical copy and annotating it as I go and such. And we literally talk about it at night about what happened, if he's enjoying it, what he's not liking. And it also could count for favorite first book in a series because I freaking love that book. So now we're on to lips and I was saying I don't know what to go with. So I have the Bite Glace. It's their matte cream lip crayon. I have an Essence Mad About Matte Lipstick Matte um, in Mad Matters. I actually wore this for my wedding and other special occasions. I actually had to buy a new one because I ran out. And then I also have the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in this like nudie mauve pink color. And I love them all. They're like my favorite three lips that I wear. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with Bite. I have two of these because I love them so much to wipe off this Aquaphor. Hold that thought. Okay, got a tissue. I leave just a little bit on. So it's not a completely dry surface. Got some moisture under this. I don't use a liner when using the bite because I just don't think I need it. And lips is your favorite book kiss. The first time um, Rowan and Aylin kiss, I think that was, that was really good. When Violet and, shoot, what's his name? In the Violet Eden chapters by Jessica Shiverington, when they kiss for the first time, I forget his name. I reread the series every single year pretty much and I still forget it. Lincoln, that's his name. When they kiss for the first time, I think that's, that's a really good one too because it's like a forbidden love thing. Those are the ones that are coming to my head. That is all, I have my face on and I have two other videos I wanna film today. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.